everybody and welcome back to my story. So I've got the uh, command center all shut down and locked up here and ready to go. And uh, we're going to head out on the road today for a little bit of adventure and I'm going to be filming a few different locations for 539 Productions so I figured I'd take you along with me. So let's go. I'm already getting a little bit scared. starting to sprinkle just a little bit and I'm not going to risk destroying this camera. I did bring the GoPro with me. I would prefer to use the Canon, but, but I'm definitely not going to risk it. So we'll just have to play it by ear and see what happens here when I get to the location. I've got a few more miles to go yet. For the 539 channel, I'm actually out trying to find a few hidden cemeteries, uh, ones that don't have markers, uh, you couldn't spot them from the road if you tried, and there's a, quite a few of them around here, so I'm going to try and identify a few and see uh, how many markers are left, if there's anything legible still on the stones. Um, look at that, how cool is that? Expecting that. Also, there's somebody behind me already. Not that I'm suspicious. But it definitely makes pulling over on these types of locations a lot harder because I'm not exactly sure where I have to pull over, but I know a general area, so I need to go like really slow in a certain area. I'm pulling on to this little tiny half gravel, half dirt road, and I'm in search of a cemetery that is completely hidden, completely overgrown, and I know a general area, but I'm not 100% sure uh, where I need to park, uh, or even if there's a place to park. All I know is it's somewhere along this road. It could be on the left side or the right side, so I'm kind of got my head on a swivel and just trying to look for uh, stones while at the same time not looking suspicious to people like that. From my research, I know that there's supposed to be a few stones left, but I'm not sure how many years it's been since the last person visited. It could be over here. I'm already past where I had marked, but again, it's only a general marker. Back on the road, that one didn't play out so far. I really just could not spot it. So I'm gonna head to the next one here, uh, which isn't too far down the road. And uh, once I get a few more locations in, then I'll head back to uh, this one and try and find it again. I'm really hoping the second one's not a no-go too, but I did one pass on it and it is completely invisible so far. But I had a better indication on where this place was supposed to be, so I'm a little confused. Uh, I'm hoping the neighbors didn't destroy this place. Might be on the other side of the road here. A surprising amount of traffic here too. This is getting irritating.
really successful so far. That was a really neat location. Can't wait to share that with you guys. Make sure to tune in to 539 Productions. And if you haven't subscribed over there, make sure that you subscribe on that channel too. And uh, you'll get to see that explore and all the others that we do here in this vlog, uh, if there are any others. Because based upon my luck, I don't know how many more I'm going to actually find. Uh, I've got about another two hours of daylight and then it's all over from there at least for these types of locations I'm pretty sure this farmer over here was kind of keeping an eye on me that uh, truck has been sitting there for a while and I don't blame them. I'm sure they were just making sure I wasn't doing anything. A little funny though. All right, I might head and uh, make a quick stop at the gas station, and then on, on hopefully to another hidden cemetery, and I'm hoping for some better success this time. drinks ready to head back out on the road so now I'm heading towards another hidden cemetery uh, it looks like I passed by it on the way to the last uh, place I stopped at so I'm not too confident again but here's hoping I find something so far today I've only gotten one out of three the rest of them were completely invisible or I needed to be walking and I didn't have a good place to park and again another one uh, this one may have been flooded I went past a little small section of woods and basically I saw a bunch of water but I couldn't see any stones cards and another battery left uh, so I've got a little bit of time here but I'm mainly actually worried about the light and that's kind of one of my uh, worst enemies during the winter when I'm filming uh, especially for the graveyards because after dark uh, it's just dangerous entering them uh, not necessarily because you're gonna get hurt but you know, people get really suspicious when you're in a graveyard after dark and bad things happen. So I try to not do that as often, but uh, I'm hoping to find at least a few things before it gets dark and then maybe I'll just continue filming. Well, that location did not work out as planned. <laughs> but I might have enough daylight to find one more uh, place before dark, and I'm at least gonna take you guys uh, along for the ride. And All right, so we're back at the command center. Uh, I had a little bit of a memory card issue, and so I ended up having to head home. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night here, and then we'll pick up again uh, on the next leg of the journey. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching. Thanks for tuning into the second channel. Uh, expect lots more uh, vlogs just like this where I'll take you along on the uh, back side of the 539 adventures. Make sure to check that out. It's my main channel uh, and uh, there's videos on there about two to three times a week of uh, adventure travel. Hope to see you all over there as well and uh, stay tuned for the next one, everybody.